Good evening. This evening, I'm going to try the Seagram's basic line that's available to me. I have, you know, everybody's drank Seagram 7, it's 7 and 7. And this is an 80 proof, 40% alcohol by volume. They all three are. This one here has 75% grain neutral spirits. They're Canadian whiskeys, but this one says American blended whiskey on it. So I don't know if something has changed over time. I'm not exactly sure, but it's Seagram 7. Then we got the Seagram's VO. I did this one with the test with Ron, therefore it's quite a bit gone out of this one. So I have tried it over time period, and it's uh, it's been sampled several times. This one's been sampled a few times. I was supposed to be on Ron's show when they did, drank this one. But I unfortunately had a job to work, and I couldn't be there for it, unfortunately. So I had to fortunately miss that one. I've got me a couple of crackers, some water to drink in between on the samplings of all this. So right off the front, we can see that the Seagram 7, even 75% grain alcohol mixed in it, blended in, is darker than the other two. So we would say this is a little bit of a... Dark amber, medium, no, nah, not dark amber, but medium plus one on the amber. This is light gold. This is gold leaning to amber. It's somewhere between the goldish color and the amber. So, something to note. I'm going to read it to you on the eight-year-old just so you're knowledgeable because some people haven't seen, has not seen this. <clears throat> but this is an eight-year-old Canadian blended whiskey. They're all three 40% alcohol by volume. This is the only one with the age statement. The other two do not have age statements. Uh, this is discontinued according to what I've been told, what Ron's, Ron's did some research, and that's what he has been informed of. I'll read you the back. Arthur Peterson is the master blender of Seagram's VO, one of the few, one of the only, <laughs> one of only a select few to ever hold this title. He has earned this right after 35 years of patient study, experience, and experimentation. This special edition of VO has been personally created by Arthur. It has his signature blend. It is his signature blend. Enjoy our quality responsibly. And it does have his signature on the back. Uh, if you were an American boy, 70s, 80s, even probably into the 90s. Everybody knows what 7 and 7 is. And this is what you normally mix with 7 and 7. Seagram's VO became a 90s thing up into the 2000s. And it has quite a following the way I understand it. Believe it or not, I'd never had VO until I did the review with Ron. And I've never had the VO gold period. I bought it for the review. I don't know. I don't remember. I think I paid... $2.99 for the half pint of this. I think I paid $5.99 for the pint of this. Uh, $3.75. And this is $200, $3.75. This one cost me a little bit more. It's $24.99 24 uh, for it. And it is still available. I see it quite a few places. So it's not necessarily dead in the water. This one's 75% grain neutral spirits. This one does not say anything. It just says it's a whiskey. Canadian whiskey, a blend. Does not allude to anything else on it. And I read you everything I know about this one. There's some more things on the side, but I'm not going to read all that. It's not as, not to me as important. All right, we'll start with the nose. This one does have a little bit of a fruity nose to it. It's more of a berry fruit. A little menthol. Just a slight bit of vanilla in it. This one here. This one is so neutral, it has a bit of vanilla and a bit of menthol. No fruitiness I can detect. 
but I noticed the menthol theme on the nose continues from these two. There is a little bit of barrel signature. I get a little bit of barrel on this one. This one, no. This one has, again, the berry fruits, almost like this one. That would be raspberry, but it has a little dip, more depth of flavor. Menthol's not very noticeable on this one. I'm going to say this is going to sound crazy, but almost like a coconut hand cream. Odor-wise, a little bit of honey. That about covers it. I'm not going to dwell on this very long. These are these are known as mixers. This one's, I think, was made with the appeal of more drinking neat, but or with ice. But the other two were definitely intended as mixers. Number one. A little bit of green apple, bear, barrel wood, and again with the menthol, and grain spirit. Finishes with that grain spirit, that vodka, grain spirit vodka. Nope, definitely finishes with that. Quick finish, doesn't last long, not much to it. Quick cracker bite. You can go up and find it. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't talk with my mouth full. All right. If I get a salty note, I will have to ignore it. I already got salty milk as a cracker. <sighs> so neutral. This is such a neutral spirit. <sighs> Maybe ever so faint an apple. Still with that menthol, but maybe maybe just Just ever so faint of an apple. Not intense at all. It's just not a lot there. It has that Canadian whiskey taste. Just like this one neutral they blend it so it just has a faint faint flavoring some apple in there ever so faint a little black pepper spice I do get a little spice with it this one had heat this one still has some heat not as much at all really and a little touch of that menthol in the finish on this one a little bit of barrel wood it's a touch bit of barrel wood there slightly sour No finish to speak of. This time only half a cracker. Ah. 
All right. Now for the main attraction. Still has that, what I call the Canadian whiskey, Canadian blended whiskey funk you just get. It, it has that, it just does. The sourness is gone, but you get in there. This one especially. So the eight years has done the spirit some good in there. It's a little bit of a caramel flavor, but not like bourbon caramel. A very light caramel. Borderline honey. A little light rye spice, a little black pepper. Some barrel wood, but it's not the sour barrel wood. Sometimes you get sour barrel wood flavored. I do. Sometimes it's bitter. That's neither one of those. It's very, very more even, evened out between the two. Finishes a little longer, has a much better mouthfeel. The mouthfeel on this goes into buttery mouthfeel. It does have a decent mouthfeel, not nearly as watery. Finishes medium, medium short. So we get, with this one, we get a little rice spice, a little vanilla, a little caramel, but it's not the caramel, it's not, it's a light, light caramel, a little honey. It's kind of a play between the caramel and the honey. Just ever so bit of a green apple in there. And it finishes... Finishes on the very tail end, even though it's a medium short finish. A little bit of raspberry note in there. Not intense. You gotta kinda hunt for it a little bit. There's a little bit of a raspberry note coming down with that. So adds a little bit more fruitiness to it than the other two does. A little more sweetness and a little more spiciness. So the eight years does kind of show in this over the other two. All right, I need to wrap it up because I don't want this to go on forever. So I would have to rank this one, number one, of course, number two, and number three. The VO is so neutral, it just doesn't do much for me. Score-wise, I give, I'm going to go in fives here, 75, 70, 65. 75, you could actually drink it, would probably still be better with a as a mixer. 70, you definitely want to mix it if all possible. Drink it straight if no other option can be had. I mean, even if you could drop an ice cube in it, anything's going to help. This, mix. Don't do anything. Throw it into whatever you want, Coke, soda, whatever your mixture that you want to mix it with. This is a mixer. It is so neutral flavored as to be that. This one gets the grain spirit, but believe it or not, I'd rather have the little bit of more richer flavor and grain spirit this one brings than this one. And if I'm going to drink any of them straight, it'll be this one. But I'm not going to run into it. It's going to be not nothing I do like that. So, I need to wrap it up so y'all not bored to death by now. Remember the spirit in your glass isn't running from you. Take your time, sip it, and enjoy it. You'll be better for it. Everyone have a good evening.